Hello everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Maths channel and welcome back to my year nine series on number. Beautiful series, it's been going really nicely so far. If you've missed anything before, the playlist is just popping out right there. Go and check it out and see what I've been doing. I've also been doing a lot of work with algebra as well. Please make sure you check that out. Now the Rusty Maths channel's been doing really well. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Can you help? Yes, you can, because you might be new here. Click on the subscribe uh, button down below and click on that notification bell so you know as soon as a video has come live. For you, it's just a click. For me, it means the world. So please make sure you do that click on there. Anyway, without any further ado, we got to get into some negative indices. No, there's no negativity here. It's pretty cool though. So check to see how you can turn a negative situation into a positive situation. I will see you in the lesson. Negative indices. Ugh. Well, what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? It means that we're going to have a base and that base will have a negative power. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you watch my first video on indices. It should be on the pop out banner now because I'll be using words like base. This is the base and this is the power or the index. Now, what do you need to know about it? Well, you need to know that if you have a negative power by reciprocating that indices or indice, the power will become positive. So now that I've flipped this over, then I now have a to the power positive n and it's down below there. I can do exactly the same thing should I have um, another number with a positive power. If I flip that number over, then that power will become negative and so on. It works just as well with fractions too. If I have A over B like that, and they've got a power of negative N, all I got to do is flip that over or reciprocate it. And just like that, the power will become positive. So that's really important. So that's loads of examples explaining the exact same thing. Flipping it over changes the power from negative to positive and vice versa. Where did I get the one from? Every number has a one underneath it. It's just that we don't write it, okay? But they're, they're, they've all got a one underneath there, all right? Every number is a fraction divided by one. So take that as a fact and let that be that. All right, cool. Let's move on. So we are going to do these answers here in index form, but we have one that we need to evaluate. So I will show you the difference between simplify or write in index form and evaluating. Let's start on the first one. So the first one, five to the power negative three. Well, as you can see here, it looks like that. So just reciprocate it or flip it over. One over five and the three is positive. And just like that, this is now finished. Now, this is the answer in index form. Index form there. Now, if you are asked to evaluate the answer, then that's something different. Then your answer will be 1 over 125. Where did I get that from? Well, 5 to the power 3 means 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. And that's the difference. So this is the answer as evaluated. So let's put that down here. Evaluated answer, whereas this answer is left in index form. So please make sure you check your question carefully and do what the question has asked you to do. If, however, you didn't know that this power is equal to that, click on the pop-out banner and go watch my video on powers and roots of numbers. Okay, let's move on. So here now, we have got a situation where two indices are multiplying. Now, you've clearly watched my last video on the laws of indices, but now um, this follows law number one. So all I'm going to do is rewrite the base. So that becomes um, five there and add the powers for add negative two. This becomes five to the power four, take away two, which becomes 
five square. Now, if you did not know about how to deal with this sort of stuff here, go watch the video on the pop-up banner that I have done on adding and subtracting negative numbers. Really important you check that because this can be something that limits your progress if you don't know how to deal with negative numbers. All right, really important you check that out. All right, let's move on. Question number three then. Now on number three, this specifically says evaluate. Why does it say evaluate? Well, the bases are different with these numbers. This one has a two and this one here has a five. So you can't just say I'm gonna rewrite the base like I've done here. I've left this answer in index form, but you can't just say I'm just gonna rewrite the base, okay? You have to really evaluate this. So now let's go work this out then. Evaluating. 2 to the power 4, um, let's put some, let's put an imply sign there. 2 to the power 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is going to be 16. Now, if you're not sure, I'll do it just at the top here. 2 to the power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which means 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. And that's why we have got 16 here. Now let's do the next one. So we have got here, let's do it in a different color. So we've got 5 to the power negative 3. Now we have learned that it will look like this. So we have to flip it over, but I'm not going to work it out because I've already seen that 5 to the power negative 3 is 1 over 1, 2, 5. I've already worked that out, so let's just put that in there. So that's 1 over 1, 2, 5. So what have we really got here then? So what we've actually got is 16 times 1 over 1, 2, 5, which is 16 over 1, 2, 5. And this is now finished. It's evaluated. It's done. There are no common factors to simplify that. That is done. Okay. Right, and finally, to finish off the video for today. So, again, a little bit more of a challenging one. We will leave this in index form. We want evaluate it. You now know what evaluate means, okay? So, let's sort out this problem here. Now, this looks like my first law of indices. So, rewrite the base, add the powers. And I'm not going to spare you on this one. I'm just going to go for it. So, that's 6 to the power 7 because when I add negative 3 with 10, I will get 7. All right, and then that divides by 6 to the power negative 1. And that's because you add the powers here again, and 4 add negative 5 is negative 1. Now, this looks like my second law of indices that we did in the last video. So here, they're dividing, so subtract the powers. This one, I will go slowly. 6 to the power 7, take away negative 1. Because when you have, when you are dividing, you subtract the powers. There's already a negative there. This becomes positive. And if you don't know why, click on the pop-up banner and go check my video on multiplying and dividing negative numbers. So this becomes 6 to the power 7, add 1, which is 6 to the power 8 in index form. And just like that, this video is at an end. I hope you've learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe below. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you have learned something new. If you have, please give this video a like. Please also make sure that you have subscribed below and you hit that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. The Rusty Matt channel appreciates your contribution. Anyway, until I see you on the next one. Peace.